Hi, welcome to the tutorial on getting started with Canvas for your IBSD Online PD. We, uh, each of you should be receiving an email and in that email you will click the Getting Started link. Uh, that Getting Started link will send you to the Canvas homepage and tell you that you've been invited to join. Go ahead and click the Accept button. If you already have a Canvas account, go ahead and choose I have a Canvas account. Otherwise, you're going to create my account, which will create a new Canvas account for you. It should have your email. Go ahead and put in a new password. This is a password you will use to sign up for Canvas. You also need to change the time zone to central time. And that's important for due dates. And then go ahead and agree to the terms and click the register button. Once you've registered, it will send you to the home page for that course. You can see this is the home page. Uh, your current sign in is your email up top here. You can also see the instructions on the home page and find this course by hovering over courses and selecting the course you're currently enrolled in. These, this, this is where you will find the navigation for the course, syllabus, discussion modules, pages, uh, and other assignments. We'll look at modules here. The modules, there are seven of them. You need to complete them all to receive your full credit. Uh, the due, excuse me, the dates that they will open are shown here on the right. And the modules are to be completed sequentially. Um, and so you can see you, can, you need to start at the top and work yourself through it. On the home screen, you will also find uh, on the right side where it tells you things to do or recent feedback. You can see so far I've submitted, I haven't submitted any assignments, so I don't have any feedback. The inbox shows communication. This is sort of like an email or chat box within Canvas. And under the settings tab, you can change settings uh, like your name. Also, this is where you will find log out. To see your grades, um, you'll click the grades tab at the top and you can view the calendar for due dates. What I like about this, if you click to October, you can see we have some due dates October 12th and October 19th for the first module. Clicking on Canvas brings you to the home page of Canvas and again selecting, hovering over courses and selecting your course will take you to the home page for, for IBSD. So hover, select. back to the home page. We need to change this uh, username so go ahead and click settings and under settings you're going to choose edit settings and pr put in your full name and that should update your display name also your sortable name. This is important for us when we're going through and putting grades for the assignments in order for you to be uh, to receive your full credit showing you've completed the modules, you need to have your correct name and your full name in there. Once you're done, we'll go back to home, we'll hover over courses, click on home, and we're going to go look at the syllabus. And for the syllabus, we you can see due dates for the, the current assignments. And also clicking on the the link will this clicking on the link will show the syllabus. This is a document. You need to read this document. It tells it, it goes over the course, how to complete discussion posts and assignments and quizzes. It also shows you the syllabi for the different courses that we are offering. There are uh, three different courses. There's ISBSD certified for, for certified teachers and administrators. Then we have non-certified staff will be doing either IBSD purple or IBSD gold. And you can see the respective due dates. Uh, in that document. So let's go back and, and look at the next link which is discussions. Under discussions, uh, this is where you will see the discussions posted out. Each, each module will have discussions that you are to complete. Clicking on the discussion will, will bring up the option to add comments to the discussion. Each, each staff member will need to respond to the prompt initially and then read some of the other uh, team members responses and submit a reply to their response um, 
in order to receive full credit for participating in, in the discussion group. So one initial and two uh, replies is the minimum. The assignment tab will show you different assignments with the due dates and you can see by clicking on assignment one um, I'm unable to complete this assignment because it requires there are some prerequisites that are required to be completed before I can complete this assignment so make sure that you get back into the module and complete them in order you can see I need to do objective 1, discussion 1.1, and discussion 1.2 before I can do this assignment. Once you complete those um, and submit, everything will be submitted online through Canvas. We hope that you found using Canvas to be useful and helpful and allowed you to sort of do the professional development at your own pace and on your own time. Uh, also hope that you're able to engage with some of your, your team members and staff members uh, across the district and have some good dialogue with them. And we look forward to seeing your completed assignments and seeing what you guys innovate. Thanks for watching.